Hello guys, I'm Theodora Gasolionti and welcome to today's tutorial. So today we'll be painting Pokemon. So I got this idea because at the 27th of February is the uh, International Pokemon Day. So I'm also a Pokemon fan. I used to watch it as a kid and yeah, I really loved it and Pokemon really make me feel nostalgic. So I think that most of you really I uh, love Pokemon as well, so I'd love to hear which one is your favorite one. I don't know if I have a favorite, maybe uh, it's Mew uh, because it's adorable and it's like very powerful. So yeah, I think uh, that's that's a favorite. So I painted uh, a few yesterday. I haven't painted anything anime themed or Pokemon <laughs> before. So I think I did an okay job at it. So this is some new that I told you is my favorite. And yeah, this is uh, Bulbasaur. Hello. And I also painted Cinderquill, which I think all of them are like so adorable. Um, yeah, so we're painting with some art supplies and I'll show you step by step how uh, to paint them yourself. Uh, very very quick and easy and I think it's really good uh, for beginners as well so I've picked two Pokemon hi guys uh, for today so I'm just going to take my camera out so I can place it on my table so I'm just going to Place my camera here. Cool. So, sorry. So, yeah, we're about to start. I'm just going to wait a bit for more people. So, yeah, in the meantime, I'm just going to show you my new uh, palettes from Zenart Supplies. So yes, in our supplies, uh, we'll give you many uh, new watercolor palettes soon. So I think for today, I'll be using a lot of uh, of this one, I guess, and this one. So for today, I picked uh, this Pokemon. I don't know if you can guess which one it is. Yeah, it's a uh, Jigglypuff. I think it's really adorable. Uh, I think it was one of my uh, favorite Pokemon when I was like a kid. Uh, it's so adorable, especially when it's like angry, uh, because and it often is, because no one stays up to listen to to the song. And I always wanted to paint on people's faces when they're asleep, but I am too nice to do that. But yeah, Jigglypuff really uh, gave me this idea. <laughs> I think it's very funny. So I'm just going to mix the right uh, color because it's a pink Pokemon but it's not like bright pink. So I'm just looking for my reference. Okay. So if you're a beginner, maybe you don't really know how to mix your colors yet. Uh, and if you need a further assistance, uh, we have a color mixing guide. Uh, you can find it by joining our group inspiration daily and also you can find it on our Facebook group like I said and on Instagram sorry so yeah this is going to help you learn how to mix the shades you want because sometimes you might not find the color uh, you need uh, ready so you have to make it yourself so this here I think it's a it's a nice Sage of pink. I'm just mixing some of this 
pastel pink here as well. So I have some gouache and some watercolor I like to mix together. So this is my jelly gouache. So I've previously mixed uh, this pink with this one and I added a lot of water. And if you add a lot of water to your gouache paint, uh, it turns into a uh, watercolor. So you can definitely uh, combine watercolor with gouache. Okay. And it's always great. <laughs> oh, praying for Charizard. I don't know, maybe I will do it. Who knows? Stay tuned and you'll see uh, which, paint, which Pokemon will be next. So um, if you're unsure of the color you've made, if it's the right one, you can have a scrap of paper and you can test it here first. So I think uh, this pink is very good for our cute Jigglypuff. So I'm starting with the wash. Okay. So I'm using a Scorl Mix Brush, uh, the number five round from the Turner set from Zen Art Supplies. I really like Scorl Mix Brushes because they're very good for, uh, for washes and for blending in colors because I really love to blend in all my colors. So I really love to paint with Scorl Mix Brushes. And this one has a very nice pointy tip, so it really helps me uh, to paint within the lines and avoid the areas I don't want to, to paint in. So yeah, this is a very, oops, I'm sorry, very helpful brush. Actually, I think it's the brush I use the most. Who is? Uh, yes, this is Jigglypuff. Uh, we're going to paint um, two Pokemon today. So <laughs> who knows? Maybe next one is Charizard. I don't want to, to spoil it. So I'm not telling you which one is next. So for now, <laughs> it's another cute Pokemon. But yeah, not all of Pokemon are cute. So I guess your favorite is uh, Charizard. So yeah, don't forget to tell me uh, which Pokemon is your favorite down at the comments. What's really uh, funny about Pokemon is that uh, it's been like, what, since 95, I think the series uh, started, so and still um, us, which is like the protagonist of the show, is uh, still uh, 10 years old. Isn't that, uh, isn't that uh, right? He's uh, 10, I think. So yeah, he never, he never ages. Must be cool to always be a 10 year old, I guess. So now it's time to paint the microphone. So, um, okay. So for the microphone, I'm going to mix some aqua with with indigo. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a, the right stage. So yeah, like I said, it's pretty important to know how to mix your colors and make the shades that you see in your reference. And that takes time really, so don't be disappointed at first. And I think you really need a good uh, color mixing guide uh, so that you can learn from how uh, to mix all the different shades and create the 
the exact one you want, it's time, your painting. So if you want a guide, uh, we have one. So all you have to do uh, is join our group, Inspiration Daily, and you will receive it as a gift. And also you can find it on Amazon, not Amazon, sorry, on Instagram. And also, yes, we have some lives on Amazon as well. Uh, you can also join us there. And sometimes we have some, some giveaways and special offers for you. And also, if you want to get some discount on General Supplies products, all you have to do is, again, join our Facebook group, Inspiration Daily. And there we have some monthly challenges uh, where you can get some uh, coupons for your participation. So usually it's like 10% off or 15% off or maybe 20. So if you would like to get uh, your own coupon, all you have to do is participate to our challenges on the Facebook group. So now I'm just using the ringer brush Oh, yeah, mine too, really, of course. Uh, those are difficult times uh, for the uh, Ukrainian people. Yeah, it's very, very sad. So yeah, thanks for mentioning it. So like I said, we're using the ringer brush. And we're painting the outline. So the ring of brushes are really great for painting outlines because they have like this long hair um, and it really helps to paint straight lines and thin lines as well. So. I also use this type of brush for other things as well. Um, I use it quite often when I'm painting hair because uh, you can paint quite easily flyaway hairs and also you can paint eyelashes with it. And eyebrows. And you can even uh, do some calligraphy. Okay, so what I've noticed from uh, painting like cartoon or, thank you, uh, or, you know, anime characters is that they have like this, um, this outlines, this dark outlines. So you can either do them with brush when you're painting and watercolors uh, with the ring and brush I'm using. And also another alternative um, it will be using a marker. Uh, this is um, an acrylic marker. So you can also do this with uh, this one. Oh, thank you. So yeah, so you have like two alternatives. If you feel confident, you can use the ring brush for painting the outline. Otherwise you can use a marker. If you're a beginner and you're afraid that uh, you don't have still a very um, stable hand to do it, um, but with a little bit of practice, I think you can manage painting uh, with the ringer brush. It's not really that difficult. And I think it's very good to have like different types of brushes. Uh, and because that is going to really uh, help you with your art practice, you know, because each uh, brush really gives you a different effect. So for better results, it's better to have like more brushes. Okay. 
Okay. So now we're also finishing off our outlines. And then we will do some shadows. So even though those characters, the Pokemon characters are very um, 2D, they're flat, they don't have that much dimension, they still have some shadows and some highlights. And that really helps, you know, bringing the characters to life. Okay. Nice, okay. We're also going to paint a bit around the microphone. Well, actually, it's not a microphone. I think it's a marker that uh, Jigglepuff is using as a prop. And yeah, when people fall asleep, uh, Jigglepuff uses to, uh, this marker to paint on their faces, like I said earlier. So, I really loved those scenes when I was like a kid. I thought they were like hilarious. And Jingle Buff looks like adorable, even if it's angry. So, I really love this Pokemon. So, don't forget to tell me uh, which is your favorite. Okay. So now I'm going to take another brush from the Fine Line Major set. Oh, that's really nice to hear. Like people uh, care about um, what happens in the world. But you know, in the meantime, um, I guess we have to stay strong and do what we can. So I'm using the number one round brush and here I have some some red which is mixed with this uh, rose shade and what we're going to do with this color is we're going to paint the inside of the ears. And now, uh, that's my favorite part. We have to uh, paint the eyes, but we need to give them some depth as well. Okay. So for the eyes, I have here this color that I think is called Follow Blue. It's from the new palette that is called Vista and has all this um, beautiful blues. Well, I, as you can see, it mostly has blue colors. So yes, we're going to take this beautiful uh, blue here and we're going to mix this with this um, light turquoise. Actually, I think it's more cerulean blue from the other new palette from Zenart Supplies, the Cerezo. I'm not sure when they will be available. I think it will be soon. So, okay. So what I really love about these colors is that they're very, very opaque. But at the same time, if you use enough water, you know, they can also give you a transparent as effect. So I think this is very good. Uh, qualities for watercolor paint to be both, you know, opaque to have a good coverage, but at the same time to be transparent. Okay, so I'm still using the number one round brush from the Fine Line Miniature Set. It's just a small round brush and it helps me to paint the inside of the eye. So if you love to paint cartoon characters as well, 
Um, I think you're going to need the file line miniature set from Zenora Supplies. Uh, it has so, so many different brushes. Of course, uh, as you can tell from the name, they're, they all you know, run on the small size because it's really for, for painting details. And what's really cool about them is that you can use them with like any medium. So you can use them with watercolors like I do now, but also you can use them with oils. Um, also an oil painter and I use them quite often with oil paint and also with acrylic, with gouache, you know, with everything. Hello Joe, how are you today? So don't forget to also tell me down in the comments which one is your favorite Pokemon. And if you do paint Pokemon using our supplies, just don't forget to use the hashtags and our supplies on Instagram if you follow us there. And I love to see them and comment on your work. And who knows, maybe you would even uh, get featured or on, on our account. And of course, if you're like a beginner, we also offer a lot of tutorials here on YouTube. And we also have some very nice articles for you as well, explaining with photos step by step how uh, to paint so many different subjects and giving you advice. So if you need like extra um, help, and advice, don't hesitate to reach out as well. And if you follow our tutorial and you like some feedback, you can always uh, ask for it. So now I just make some of the color I've made for, for the body. Uh, we did this uh, first layer and I've also added a little bit of black here. And we created it, uh, this shade that I'm going to use to give a little bit of uh, shadows. So I'm just adding small details here and there to uh, give this uh, fuzzy look here at the ears as well. You know, to give the impression that it has some, some fur. So like I said, even though it's like flat and doesn't have that much uh, depth, Pokemon still have, you know, some shadows and some highlights as well. Even though they appear to seem, you know, a bit uh, flat. And we're going to add a little bit of this dark shade to the inside of the ears, just a bit. Beautiful. 
Okay, and now again, we're going to grab our Ringo brush and a little bit of this indigo paint from the new palette from Zenar Supplies. And we've made this grayish blue and we're going to use it to paint the outline here at the eyes of Jigglypuff. So I don't exactly remember which one is, well actually I do, I remember which one is my favorite scene from the Pokemon series. I think my favorite episode was the one with um, with this maiden who um, became a ghost because she uh, was waiting for for her husband, I don't know. Uh, and yes, it was turned into stone because he was waiting for so many years at the same place for him to return, but he never did. So I don't know if this episode it was called The Haunted Maiden, something like that, I think. And I really like this story because I was a hopeless romantic, I think, since so I was like very young. So that was my favorite episode. And I think my favorite movie uh, is the first one. That shows the creation of new two. Do you have like a favorite uh, memento from from Pokemon? Anything at all you remember, maybe? Also, they still make some games for Nintendo, and I think they're quite popular still. So to make the eyes to have like this depth, uh, we were talking about earlier, we're just adding a darker shade of blue at the top. And with some white gouache, we're going to add a little bit of a highlight here. So yeah, this is uh, what we did here as well when we were painting um, Mew's eyes. Okay, so in the inside we want them to be dark. Okay, so I think it looks like adorable. I'm going to also Finish this off by adding a small, a small petal. So yeah, you can use this. Uh, you can make this as a gift card to someone. So I'm using what I call a paper from Zen Art Supplies. This is um, made from 100% uh, cotton. And this size is called Albert card. So it's a card's uh, size. And I think it's a, it's a very good uh, size for painting um, small watercolors. So again, we're using the ring and brush to paint the petals and the leaves here. So 
So as you can see, this is like very, uh, very simple and very quick. Just because, you know, we had all this um, empty space here and I thought, you know, this um, will look really nice at the bottom to have just a small rose. No, not rose exactly. I think this is like more, um, more like a cherry blossom. So I think this is a very good um, for beginners. I think any of you could really manage painting a Pokemon. So all you have to do uh, is start start with a thin layer, and then add uh, darken your color with just a little bit of of black. And notice uh, which areas uh, of uh, of your reference are darker. And then for the eyes, uh, if you want to give an expression to them, all you have to do is just add uh, a basic shade and then add a little bit of darker shade of the same blue at the top of the eye and at the outline. And don't forget to add some white highlights to make them a bit more watery. Yeah, it's, uh, it looks grumpy. Uh, because uh, I took this out of a scene where uh, it was singing and people fall asleep again. So yeah, it looks a bit mad. So this is the first one. I hope you liked it. And now we're moving to the uh, second Pokemon we will be painting today. And yes, uh, it's going to be, can you guess? from the outline, uh, which Pokemon this is. And it's uh, Charizard. So as you can see, uh, we've done enough uh, cute Pokemon. I think they all look like just adorable, but we haven't done any Pokemon that look a bit more fierce. And some of them really look fierce. Not all Pokemon are adorable. So I wanted to do, um, a first one and since most of you asked for Charizard I didn't really want to uh, to disappoint you so okay so yes let's paint Charizard so Charizard is like the final form of Charmander isn't that right so I think it's Charizard and then it's Charmeleon and then it's uh, Sorry, no, it's Charmander, Termilla, and then Charizard, right. Okay, so um, Charizard is orange. So I'm going to use this orange. I'm sorry if I don't know the name of this one. Uh, it's from the Classical Palette from Zenart Supplies. And I think it's exactly uh, the right orange for, for Charizard. So again, we're just taking a generous amount of this color with our number five brush from the turn set from the Nord Supplies. We're adding this beautiful orange. Such a good coverage. And I'm also uh, being uh, careful to avoid the areas I don't want to paint. So you can see that this color is quite pigmented. So I think it's exactly 
the right side of orange. So painting tries out. I also liked uh, the episode where Charizard finally obeyed us, but then us had to let Charizard go. So he will become stronger. And I think us, <laughs> uh, what he did, um, is that he would live most of his Pokemon at some point. So he also left Charizard. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> okay. So I hope you are going to like as well the, um, the first Charizard. I think it's very uh, satisfying to fill in with color. Mm, there it is. So again, I'm using color straight from the palette. It's from the new the Art Supplies palette that is called Classico. It's not out yet, but I think it will be available soon. So we're going to leave the belly white because for now, because it's a different shade, it's going to be this light yellow. So we're being careful to avoid this area. Just blending in a little bit of the color here as well. Okay. Sorry if I don't talk too much right now. I'm just being careful because I want to paint all the orange without painting in the areas that are not supposed to be orange. Okay. So I'm using the five round brush, squirrel mix brush from the Turner collection. It's a round brush, like I said, but it has this very nice uh, pointed tip, so it allows me to be careful. Okay. So I really love to see your own Pokemon. Um, I like to see so you're painting all your favorites. There are really so many, we couldn't really paint them all. But I hope I painted a few that you, that you like. I think those are like popular choices. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you like um, Charizard. Uh, because, yes, I wanted to paint something that you will look 
a Pokemon that you will all know and like, so. I think the Suwan is a Pokemon that everyone liked. Well, also, uh, P Pikachu would be like an obvious choice, but I didn't want to, <laughs> to paint Pikachu. I think uh, Pikachu is like too, too mainstream, I guess. Also, if you're like on TikTok as well, don't forget to check out Zenart Supplies videos there uh, because we have some very nice and interesting ones. So yeah, if you would like to see more, also uh, check us out there. And like I said, if you want to try the art supplies um, yourself, uh, you can join Art Challenges on Inspiration Daily. Uh, that's our Facebook group. And everyone who joins Art Challenges uh, will get a discount. So I think that would be very nice uh, for you if you love to um, to test out our products to get uh, a discount as well just by uh, joining our challenges which are very very fun and easy. So for February we had uh, to paint um, to paint a Valentine's Day card obviously. And also we're preparing something for next month. So yes, if you would like to get a discount, don't forget to, to join our next challenge. Okay, so here Charizard has some white nails so I'm just living them uh, like this and I also uh, picked this one this posture because uh, here uh, Charizard has uh, the flaming tail in display and I love to paint that uh, yesterday for our Amazon live I painted uh, cedar grill and it was also uh, on fire as well. So I really love to paint the flames. Okay. So yeah, we're almost done with the orange. Here is the last bit. I just had to do this uh, carefully. Because we wanted, like I said, to leave some areas white. Uh, but if you accidentally uh, paint somewhere you weren't supposed to, uh, don't worry, all is good. You can still fix it with some white acrylic. Okay. Nice. So this is what it looks like with the the orange covered. Really, that wants money, wow. Okay. 
Um, did you uh, follow us on Amazon? Uh, I think if you follow us there, uh, you get notifications uh, for when the next live is going to be and uh, what we will be painting and if we're going to have a giveaway or a, or some discount codes. So yeah, make sure you follow us there so you get notified. Do you guys know any other interesting fun facts? So what I remember is that when uh, Pokemon Go, the application launched, uh, people really got crazy. And I remember so many accidents happened in the street because people were looking into their phones, hunting Pokemon, and they didn't really mind their surroundings. So I don't think people are that crazy with Pokemon Go anymore. Maybe I am mistaken. But nevertheless, I think Pokemon are still very, very popular. But yeah, I remember uh, those days that everyone was like, on their phones, hunting Pokemon. Okay, so I've mixed this color for the inside of the wings. Um, I used uh, this very nice emerald green with a bit of the uh, phalo blue to create this interesting um, green. Okay, check again and and tell us. I think yes, next next live will be um will be tomorrow with Kathleen. So check if you get notified about that. Okay. So oops, sorry. So now we're painting the wings, the inside. I'm just going to flip brushes because I'm afraid I might touch the orange. So I've switched to a smaller round brush from the final miniature set. And this is going to make this uh, a lot easier. So this is also a very good exercise uh, and for you uh, and also to see how well those uh, watercolors perform. I think I really love this uh, this green. It looks very good uh, with the orange. Um. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> You didn't name him after the character, but oh, that's cool. It's really cool. It's a, it's a very nice name also. Okay. So yeah, when I was also very young, I thought um, Asis' uh, last name was Ketchup, but it was but it's Ketchum. It's not Ketchup, but I thought it kind of was. <laughs> okay, 
So now we're just filling in the green. So yeah, this green I I made myself. So once again, it's very important to know how to mix your colors. And you can easily uh, learn how to do it. Just takes a little bit of practice, that's all. Okay. And now we're going to paint the belly as well. And then we can do the outline. Okay, so what do we have here? So the belly of this Pokemon is um, this very uh, light yellow. So we're just taking this yellow, maybe mix a little bit with this slightly orange one. And I think I'm going to mix also a little bit of yellow ochre because it's not that bright of a yellow. And now I'll be mixing a little bit of this white to test it. Okay. And I think this is exactly uh, the shade that we wanted. So I've mixed this very bright lemon yellow with this cadmium yellow and then a bit of yellow ochre and then just a bit of white. And we got this. So with this we're painting a belly that is yellow. I really love the color combination of this Pokemon. I think all these colors look so beautiful together. And also instead of having green eyes, um, Charizard has blue, like brilliant blue. Okay. Beautiful. And now let's also paint the flame. So for the flame, mm, okay, I'm just taking, no, this is like a cherry red. We don't want a cherry red. So, okay, I'm going to take this red. I think that this one is quite perfect, is this one. It's a bit of an orangey red. So yeah, I think this one is perfect um, on its own. Maybe I will add just a little bit of this one just to make it a little bit stronger. Okay. So now we're painting the flaming tail. Okay. And I think it's starting to look like pretty cool. Who doesn't like a dragon Pokemon? Very beautiful. Okay, nice. And now the inside is an orange that is uh, similar to the color of the body. Just maybe going to add a little bit red to this orange. So it can be like slightly a different color. Mm, or maybe I will use, yeah. I will mix this lighter orange here. Okay.
nice. So okay, so when it dries, we can also add a little bit of uh, yellow there. So the fire can come to life. And we still have to paint the eyes. So, okay, I'm going to take this uh, really nice follow blue again. I'm just going to need a smaller brush, maybe more point brush, or I'm just going to take the number one round. Okay. Just making sure I don't have too much water on my brush because if you want to paint details, it's best if you don't have too much, much water. So now we're painting the eyes. Okay. I think this is a very good match. So now to make this quicker, I'm going to use my marker. Oh, the outline. So this is an acrylic marker and you can use it on any surface, uh, even on glass or on wood. And of course you can use it on paper. So I'm just checking um, with my reference because uh, he has like this very uh, smug expression. Okay. So he has like a tooth right here. So we make sure we include that as well. Okay. Also, he looks like he's uh, frowning. So I'm making sure I include that as well. Okay. So like I said before, so Pokemon have like this black outlines. So yeah, make sure you have something that can help you paint them as thin as possible. You can do it either by using a ring and brush or you can do it with a marker like I'm doing now. Okay, and of course, in order to capture the likeness, don't forget to find a good reference of your favorite Pokemon and just pay close, pay close attention so that you can capture the likeness. Okay. Okay, 
So now we're just, we're going to leave the, the nails white. Okay. So yes, like I said, I would love to see your own uh, Pokemon creations. I think this is very easy. I think also uh, that even if you're a beginner, you can still manage it pretty well. Okay. I also forgot this uh, tiny bit there. But we still have some of this yellow, so we can add it right after. So yeah, the whole process is like very, uh, very satisfying. Uh, and also, yes, it's very, very easy to, to sketch. So I don't know, do you guys love to paint um, anime characters or Pokemon? I know some people are like a uh, very big fan as of anime characters and they also um, paint them quite well. So yes, if you love to paint uh, Pokemon or whatever you love to paint, don't forget to use the hashtag Zero Supplies and tell us what you think, of course, of the products and we will love to see your creations as well. Also, <laughs> now it just came to, to mind uh, that Pokemon, especially the first uh, season, they had like this very, very nice soundtrack. The, um, they got to cut some more. So yeah, I think it was like the best um, song they had i don't know which uh, song they have these days on their on the series because i think um every season they they have like a different uh, opening song but the first one was like amazing very very dynamic um sound and of course it's like so very uh, memorable Okay, now with this black outline, the, the eyes look so very, uh, very fierce as well. Okay, so now we just have to add a few finishing touches. Okay, I'm just grabbing my uh, ringer brush and I'm going to add the color here that we forgot. Okay, this tiny bit there. And of course, I think, yeah, with the same yellow, we can add the, um, the sparks here. I 
and I'm going to add a little bit of black as well and I'm going to paint here to give uh, the depth we were uh, talking about earlier okay All right, and now with a little bit of black, I didn't do it with a marker because uh, I want this line to be very, very thin. And it will be thinner with the, um, the ringer brush. So, okay. And also we need a little bit of white to give a bit of spark to the eyes and also we're going to paint white the tooth here and we're adding the spark with the highlight to the eyes so that was it this is um, what our first Pokemon looks like and this is the other one uh, we did today, the Jigglypuff. So we have like a first Pokemon and also an adorable one. And those are the others we did yesterday. Some are from the Amazon Live. So I hope you liked today's tutorial. And thank you for watching. Bye guys.